Ta-da! Welcome back, guys! Oh my god, you cannot believe what an achievement this is. We are playing the Titanic game that has since been abandoned on the Oculus Rift. Okay, welcome aboard the RMS Titanic. Press M to return to main menu to make the ship sink. Visit the House of Wheels. We're not going to ship sink the ship today. Da -da 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 -da. Um, welcome back to Loki and Gaming. If Loki wants to be here, he can, and he says this is a miracle. Oh my god, guys, I wanted to look around this ship so bad, you have no idea. <gasps> you should see this on the rift. Oh my god, it's set up for the DK2, which is an earlier version, so this should not be playing. So I'm sorry if it's a little shaky, my rift is getting simultaneous input from two controllers and I do not think it's too happy. But, let's go! Loki says this is much nicer. We were trying to play a horror game for you guys. It would not work. Oops. Okay. Um, this was worked on for a long time and then the developer gave up, I think, because fanboys of competing games just would not shut up. Loki's <laughs> like, yep. <laughs> Yeah, there were fanboys of a competing game, and they just would not shut up about how much superior their game was. So we ended up with a game that never got finished. It's been over a year. But is this not beautiful? We are aboard a recreation of the Titanic. This is the one I actually prefer. There's no NPCs to bother you. And we're just gonna... Explore this luxurious ship. I just, I can't get over the fact that I'm playing this on the rift. Oh my god, yeah, you're right. Oh my god, we went in the bed. <laughs> We've been on the bed on the Titanic. Um, Loki is as easily impressed as I am because this game, had they kept going, this game could have been something else. Um, we're not going to do a classical tour. I'm still at the, oh my god, it's the Titanic stage. And I've had this game for over a year. So we're just going to explore. I mean, look at the floor. Look at the floor. Oh my god, I can move my head and look around. It's the Titanic. I wanted a game like this so bad. I didn't realize a game I already had played like this. Look at that. Look how close we can get! Oh my god, that is so cool. This is so much better on the rift than it is... I'm sorry, <laughs> you're seeing it, I guess. Oh, uh, this is so cool. Okay. Everybody watching is like, boy, is she easily impressed. I don't care. Um... I like the light beams on the floor, like you can see the light coming through. And way above us, if you put your head out over the deck like a moron, you can see above. So let's go up before we go down. Oops. <laughs> I am steering with both my mouse and my joystick. So. And look at that chair. Oh, thank you, Loki. Loki, guys, this is actually how to actually play this game. You can be running around the ship just looking at... <gasps> we went through a door. Oops. Okay. Because my, my little Oculus Rift head apparently sticks out over my cyber body. We're going to be doing some unusual stuff. Like sticking our head through stuff we have no business to stick our head through. <gasps> this is so much fun. <laughs> Loki's back here. I, I'm so proud of you. You make toys out of everything. I do. And look at that. That's a deck? And that's class? <laughs> Loki says I abused her as a child. That's not funny, Loki. He deprived me. Never let me do anything. That's why I was so easily impressed. Look at this, though. Can we sit in it? Oh, we're sitting on the Titanic. <laughs> He swears there's nothing wrong with me. Isn't this cool though, guys? Oh my god. Yes, I am easily impressed. You go ahead, you try. 
He says this game will be fair with Fox running around it. Isn't this pretty though? This is so neat! It's the Titanic! We're not we're not gonna sink it. I sank it once for the other channel. I felt extremely, extremely bad. Um I mean it was a real life tragedy. It's not like you're just doing it for This is so pretty. I can't tell. Woo! Sorry about that, guys. My my head is actually sticking out over my body, according to this game. It was not made for the Rift. It was made for the DK2. So it's having a little trouble knowing where my head is. Which means I might be able to get into mischief. For you guys, I will mischief anything. But yeah, I, I actually love the ship. I was so angry when he stopped production. But um, sometimes fanboys of games can do that. They can go and completely attack and kill another game because they're so jelly. Because it's not the game they like. Oh my god. And <laughs> ruin everything. <laughs> Sorry to my male viewers, but you know what I mean. It just takes a couple fanboys or girls or persons to ruin a game. And I'm like so ticked off that this game never got fully developed. I actually like it. I think the other ship's ugly compared to this one. So, I, I'm not thrilled, and I've tried the other one, and that one will get you content strikes, by the way, if you play it. Um, at least it got me some. And I'm not thrilled that people were so up in arms about only their game being a game that they ruined a gaming experience for everyone else. So, what you're seeing is what you get, and by what you get, I mean is if you ordered this like a year or so ago because, um, the developer decided that since they weren't going to work on it, no one could buy it again. So, yeah, you have to know somebody with a copy that's willing to play it for you or play it on their rig. But yeah, there's no more, no more game. And I thought it was a charming little game. Can I jump? Do I have to use spaceport to jump? Aha, yes I do. So I'm working this with something on my head, trying to navigate with a mouse and a pad. It's kind of like if you're like me and you have low vision, it's kind of like the training they gave you for low vision, where they made you even more low vision and you had to navigate chairs and stuff. It's kind of like that. Can I do this? No, I can't. I can't move forward and jump at the same time because I will have to take my hand off the mouse and I'll never find it again. <laughs> yeah, but we'll do what we can do. I am just so thrilled to be able to bring you guys aboard the Titanic. I mean, even if it's, you know, kind of cartoonish and style, I don't care. Um, if you fall off the Titanic in this version, you don't die. You just will go back to where you were. Um, as you can see, since it didn't start fully develop, a lot of stuff's kind of kind of weird, but I actually find that endearing about games when they have a There's a <laughs> So, okay, let's go into second class. No, they're not going to let us go into second class. Okay, let's go back where we were. Can I put some shift on? Is there a way for me to shift? No. Okay, can't have everything. <laughs> um, you usually can run, but I would have to be hitting shift, and since I am navigating by stick, so I prefer my stick, um, we just have to do it with a slow mosey. You can play this on the regular PC, but again, you will have to have gotten a copy. But I kind of miss this game. I haven't seen it in ages, and I... Did I walk past the entrance? Yammering at you. <laughs> what 
Rocky's back are laughing. He says, congratulations, you just got lost on the Titanic. It, yeah, they're impressive graphics. Shut up, Loki. Um, yeah, this game never got finished, and I think it's a shame, because I really thought it had a lot of potential. Because this, they try to make it as true to life as possible, and what we're just seeing is, you know, beginning potential here. There is something. If I go quiet, I'm just, I'm actually looking. So there is a map. Um, people that love this game, though, were actually playing it with maps. And apparently it is pretty accurate to the map. I know the um, one room did get moved. Wait a minute. What tech do I want to be? Let's go first class again. I think I need to go a deck down to go where I want to, but... I brought you up here to show you that. Is that not pretty? Everybody's pretty not as easily impressed as I am, and you're all like, oh my god. But let's go look. Let's go explore the Titanic. Again, I'm sorry it's shaking. It's... It's not liking getting feedback from my, um, mouse and my hand, and my tremors are acting up, so sometimes that affects it as well. But it really seems to not like me to ah, be doing both at once. Though it's doing a really good job of taking two sources of feedback, so... Ah. See how pretty? I like this game. No, it, it, Loki's like, yeah, there's really no point to it. You like Ghost Con. But yeah, I do. Um. I wish you guys could really get a copy. I figured if he was going to stop development, he said it wasn't fair to the people that paid for it to... This is, if you wanted to sink her, you could get one of those keys and give her a sink. I think the purser, well, the purser's office was moved since I've played this game, but I think the purser's office, I'm not sure if that's a historical deck or not. There was something there. It changed location. It used to be a deck up. Yeah, I like the Titanic, but I could not find my way around it, obviously. Is this not pretty, though? You don't always need, um, outstanding graphics to have a good time. Shut up, Floki. He's back there, like, keep telling yourself that. I like it. <laughs> You're the only one that does. He's so nice. He wants to sink the show. And look, you can see the details of... Ooh, we can sit at the table now. You can see the details. Ooh, I'm getting a weird effect. Okay. I, I've never seen this in VR before, so it's a little trippy. That's weird how that rendered. But remember, this was unfinished, so... And you're seeing the render on the screen anyhow. You're not... When I record it, you get what's mirrored onto the screen. Weird, I didn't remember it being like this. Okay. Somebody's been in my Titanic doing things. But yeah, um... There's also a museum, though. Which we probably should have ought to have done.
Because I think you can go the same amount of show. Welcome back, guys! We are going to be playing the Titanic. Um, this is a game I got years ago. It was abandoned. But we're going to play museum mode here. So, I am playing in VR, which it should not be working. Long story there. Welcome to museum mode. The mode is still in early stages and under construction, which it will be forever. Mode aims to show the Titanic in a relaxed and formative way. It also aims at increasing the frame rates of RAM usage compared to explore mode by decreasing quality counts and still be modeled, so da 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 da. Okay, so. This is the Titanic. We are starting in a different place than you would in Free Explore. Corridor. Corridor runs the first class aft grand staircase. It is adjacent to the first class cabins. So here you see that. I don't want to stand up because one hand's on my controller and one hand is on my joystick. Shut up, Loki. Welcome back to Loki and Kami, by the way. Where Loki is on board in concept, but is not always. Okay, this is a corridor as well. Yes, Captain Obvious, we figured that out on our own. Um, the music is really loud in this version. Okay, nothing down here. Corridor. Okay, not yet rendered. Will never be rendered. Elevators. So welcome aboard the Titanic. A deck, B deck, C deck, D deck, E deck. We are currently on B deck. Um, this is a shorter version than the Explore version. Okay, the port side first class entrance to the B deck. Uh, this is where first-class passengers enter the Titanic in Southampton on its maiden voyage. This version is a little more fruitful. The artwork. Uh, I believe this is the superior Titanic game. Loki goes, yeah, but unfortunately, fans of the rival game kind of shut this game down. Um, first class promenade. The promenade ran from the fore to the aft of the Titanic. It was not very luxurious compared to other first class facilities. It was quite a large area. Passengers could rent deck chairs, yes, rent them, to relax or just stroll around the deck. Titanic's forward promenade deck was enclosed rather than open like on Olympic. This means there was only rectangular windows instead of a railing. This was done because Olympic passengers complained about the ocean water coming in during bad weather. And all the experienced sailors are going, What are you doing on the, act in on the deck in bad weather? I don't know what they were doing on the deck in bad weather. I suppose being stupid. But, yes. Um, remember, it was a very different time. People quite honestly thought they could have whatever they wanted when they wanted it. A revolving door behind the store is a corridor that leads to first class. Can we get through? No. Okay. And what you have to remember is that for the time, um, it would have been very much segregated. You could not scroll your way over from second class. That was frowned upon. If you were second class or lower, you stayed where you paid. Um, sort of the concept of planes, you don't get out of, um, any cheaper class and go sit in first class because they have an empty seat. You don't get to do that. Um, inquiry office. The office was used for multiple purposes, such as buying tickets for the pool gym, squash court, or a bathhouse. Passengers could also request for a letter to be sent in the form of a telegram. 
Yes, telegrams, not emails. They would have to fill out a form which would then be sent to the McCartney room to be transmitted. And it was a very different time, because imagine, you couldn't just text people. You didn't have millions of followers. If you did, they followed you by the papers. You didn't have your Facebook, your Instagram, your tweets, your Tumblr. You had none of that stuff. Doesn't it sound glorious to not have any of that? <laughs> um, yes, it was very, very much a different time. First class reception. This area served for first class passengers to relax before or after dinner. The entrance to the dining salon is at the aft wall of the reception room. Salon, saloon, um, I guess it depends on the country. It's salon, I think, one o saloon. So saloon, I'm going to suppose, but salon sounds ritzier. Pretty pretty. I'm just thrilled that we can do this. Hi! That was a surprise! Please don't do that again. I just played a jump scary game I did not like. First class dining saloon. This was the biggest first class dining facility on board the Titanic. It could seat 554 passengers and serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Passengers would be alerted for dinner by Peter Fletcher who would play the roast beef of Old England, which is I believe what we are hearing now, I'm not sure. Um, you can see they have the lamps and the beautiful plates. I'm Titanic crazy. I don't care so much for any of the films of the ship herself. She's just so pretty. I do hope someday they get her fully recreated to the point where you could go aboard and explore to your heart's content. Stay on her. Hopefully they'll build her on land this time, having learned their lesson. Um, if you do your research, people are divided between faulty workmanship, um, rushed work because they wanted to prove they could build it so fast, they rushed the workers way too hard, inferior materials, everything, nothing, fate. Um, and of course, there were ships in the area as she was sinking, because she didn't just sink in an instant. It took, you know, quite a while, and as she was going down, there were ships in the area that could have been of aid to her. And uh, apparently they just ignored the SOS, which is a crime by maritime law, in case you're wondering. You cannot just ignore it. If you are the nearest ship in the area, you are obliged to offer assistance. What do you want, Chadavogu? <laughs> okay, but th she's a pretty little show. I think Free Roam is more impressive, actually, but I did want to be able to show you around. And since I can't remember things offhand, it is nice to have the signs under construction. <laughs> okay, um, unfortunately this game will never ever ever be developed beyond this, but the fact that I can play this... <gasps> Look where we are! Scotland Road! Oh my god, Scotland Road is on the free explorer by the way. Okay, the corridor runs across the entire length of the ship and was mainly used by staff and third-class passengers. It connects third-class rooms to the saloon and grants access to a lot of crew sleeping quarters as well as storage on E-deck. Let's have an explorer showing. Explore, explore some more, some more. Ooh, can we go down into the dining room? Ooh, this would have been about where I would have been if they wouldn't have packed me in steerage. <laughs> this is where third class single males ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It had an approximate capacity of 235 and was considered quite comfortable for the time period. And I know today you're looking at it and you're horrified because everybody today kind of has this idea that we all deserve first class. We all deserve luxury. We all deserve the best of the best. And unfortunately, no matter how good or modern the ship, that is just not 
possible unless you have the money to pay for it. And yes, single males were kept away from single ladies. It was not a brouhaha. Um, and I'm just telling you guys that because it was a very different time. Um, maybe not for some people. Maybe some people still ran around being risque, but it just simply was not done. I'm, I'm sure people got up to frisky business. I'm sure there are books about it, but... <laughs> Look, he says, I wrote the books. But, um... Yeah, it was frowned upon. You were supposed to at least put on the appearance of being a gentleman or lady. Let's keep going down and see what we can find. I've never explored this ship in VR before. I've done a little bit. <gasps> ah! Okay, the Turkish baths and cooling room. This room was for first-class passengers to cool off after having a bath. It was one of numerous rooms in the Turkish bath area. The price of entry to the Turkish baths was one dollar. The room is very lavish and is heavily inspired by Middle Eastern culture. Today we might cringe a little because we think differently of borrowing from other cultures freely, but that was what it was. I, I really think it is beautiful. Again, I've never been able to see it in um, VR before, so it's gorgeous. I can't, unfortunately, pick anything up or do anything. Um, both games have their charms. The other um, Titanic game is good enough for what it is, but it has a completely different feel. This game's a wee bit more silly. A wee bit more relaxed. I have no idea where I'm going. But this isn't a museum tour. If you free explore, you can um, explore the ship. And if you wish, simulate the sinking. And if you play sinking mode, guess what that does? You only have so long to get off the ship. It's, I don't know if it's the most tasteful, culturally sensitive game in the world, but it, it exists. Um, yeah, I was kind of torn when I got it because in one way I see it human gives humanity to the people that died on the ship. But in another way, it's kind of tasteless to <laughs> experience drowning when I'm sure those people would not want to be made to the video game. Okay. Recent discovery was made by the team of the upcoming game, Titanic Honor and Glory. Yeah, that would be the game that torpedoed this game, and this game no longer exists. I don't even know if the other game went forward. I think they lost interest in it. It was going forward for a while, and then I think they just... Come on, then. Let's have another go at it. You can do stairs. There we go. <laughs> Elevators. Very loud music. Stairs. Glorious stairs. I skip anything in my interests? Did I skip something? I want you to get the full thing. The Grand Staircase! This was the biggest staircase on the Titanic and went from boat deck all the way to F deck. It was the only for first class passengers and considered very luxurious. It was based on the design of staircases in Versailles, especially the staircase in the Paulus Grandier. Uh, the Grand Staircase was made out of Oak wood and contain many detailed carvings. Sorry if you're having trouble hearing me. Music is a bit much in this version. But it's nice for what it is. Uh 
Okay, that is a bit strange. Um, we hope you've enjoyed the tour. And if you guys like what you see, we hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, we just wanted to bring you here because this is very unique. You usually... Hello. You usually cannot explore these ships at will. I'm not sure how this is working with the rift. It shouldn't, but it is. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.